Hi, I'm Melvin Way, and this is my Yellowstone National Park mini-series taken in 2013 in late summer, early fall. I'm going to create a playlist for this Yellowstone mini-series, and there's going to be a lot of episodes. Each episode will contain a mixture of highlights. Here you can see some elk foraging for grasses at the river bend. This is the Madison River, and they're very bold. They can eat right next to humans. The larger one here has a collar and there's also two juveniles to the right. A lot of people and kids keep calling these deer and they're obviously not if you've seen deer in your local forest or riparian zones. They all have that light patch of fur on their butts. That's the easy way to differentiate them from deer. Here's a brief glimpse of my first bison sighting from the car. Here's a compilation of driving footage. In the distance you can see all these geysers and hot springs giving off steam. And it's quite different from any other place I've ever been. I've never seen such a high concentration of geysers and that's what Yellowstone National Park is really known for. If you've never been to Yellowstone National Park in the United States, I definitely recommend that you go at least once in your life. Tourists flock here from all over the world. I see a lot of European tourists, East Asian tourists, and Indian tourists and people just marvel at all the geothermic phenomena and all the animals here. If you like what you've seen so far please subscribe to my channel The Melvin Way on YouTube and definitely share and like my videos and leave comments if you like. There's so much to see in Yellowstone National Park and what you get out of your trip really depends on what you put into it and how much time you actually spend outdoors. Our old faithful. Okay, Old Faithful is the most reliable and famous of the geysers in Yellowstone and it erupts pretty often so that's why people come to see this first thing in the morning on day one of their Yellowstone trips but there's actually a lot more interesting stuff to see if you take the boardwalks to the left and the right it's all one big loop so just take your time and take a few hours and go around and enjoy all the other geysers and thermal vents Wow. Look at it.